Look at that tower cam time lapse. Uh, we had windy conditions this morning, mostly cloudy skies. Now, the wind did die down as we went through later on in the day. And uh, just a few hours before sunset, the sun came out. But as you can see, as the sun did set, there was a few more clouds. And now we're cloudy again into the uh, Fargo area. But the clouds have kept up the temperature. 27 degrees out there right now with Moorhead at 25. And Grand Forks at 29 degrees with cloudy skies. Now, the uh, current temperature is out to the west. Even warmer, Valley City at 32, 31 at Jamestown. A little cooler down south into the east. Fergus Falls at 19, and Wapiton holding at 18. And taking a look at the wind speeds, the winds are uh, actually not that bad into the Fargo area, points south and east. They're near 10 miles per hour, but between 15 and 20 miles per hour, Jamestown, Devil's Lake, and Grand Forks. And you can see those areas have more of a northerly wind, and the Fargo area has a southerly wind. So you can see where the cold front is. The cold front will come through tonight, keep us a little cooler tomorrow compared to the day today. There's your clear skies just a few hours before sunset. More clouds off to the west. We're going to see overnight and a few snow showers up uh, just to uh, the uh, south of Halleck uh, for the day today. That's basically it for uh, any precipitation for us. The uh, big deal is that system off the east coast. The good news is the last few bands of snow are exiting. They should be out of here by the overnight period. And uh, we're still in that blizzard warning from Washington, D.C., all the way up through Philadelphia and New York City itself with winter storm warnings approaching just south of Boston. Now, the uh, travel advisories for them will, uh, will stop at 6 a.m. Now, taking a look a little closer to us, off to our west, we have mainly cloudy skies out there, a few snow showers, and that will be our future. So let's uh, track it hour by hour. Cloudy skies for tonight. Everybody gets in on that northerly wind. We're going to have a mild overnight period. Temperatures into the lower 20s out there, but into the uh, mid 20s for highs. So a little cooler tomorrow compared to the day today. Still cloudy skies out there. And as we go through the overnight period, some snow showers are possible. And uh, everybody gets in on the snow showers. A chance for the day tomorrow, mainly to the south and to the east of Fargo into Lakes Country. It looks like light amounts from this system. We're back to cloudy skies as we go through the day on Monday. Planning your day for tomorrow in Fargo, 22 at 7:30 a.m. Cloudy skies. We have mild temperatures, a light wind, 24 by noon. Everybody should stay dry into the Fargo area as we go through 5 p.m. at 23 degrees. So we're still mild out there. Other temperatures from around the area into the southern valleys, near uh, 25 degrees in most places. Places, cloudy skies and mild, a little warmer out toward Lakes Country, 25 to 30 for a high tomorrow into Northland, Minnesota. We're going to see temperatures also between 25 and 30, cloudy skies and mild in Northern Valley, temperatures between 20 and 25. So temperatures still well above average for this time of year. Now, extending the forecast for the day on Monday, we have that system coming through that will give some snow showers, especially south and to the uh, east of Fargo. High of 23 degrees. We're going to stay in the 20s most of next week. 22 on Tuesday, mostly cloudy skies with another chance of some snow showers on Wednesday. High of 27, 26 on Thursday. The wind picks up for Friday. That southerly wind does warm us up to 36 and 29 for the day on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies out there. So mainly dry and a lot warmer, especially <laughs> toward the end of next week. Definitely something you're going to have to enjoy more often, especially after such cold temperatures we were stuck in. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to see temperatures that cold for a while, a mild and maybe, <laughs> maybe wetter than normal pattern coming up. Glad to hear that at least. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much, Justin. Bison Nation is standing strong for one of their own. The details next on Valley News Live at 10.